Of course, the Minnesota Fine Vikings are always like, it's got to be about me. So even though it's Championship Sunday, they're still like, yeah, we got to make some waves. We got to make some headlines. And reportedly, they're apparently down to their final three in their head coaching search. Tom Pelissero, go. The Vikings plan to conduct second interviews with, uh, for head coaching job next week with multiple candidates, including Rams OC Kevin O'Connell and 49ers DC D'Amico Ryans per sources. And it wouldn't be a surprise if Jim Harbaugh makes a visit to him. And we ran down the reasons why I, I think that Harbaugh is probably a favorite to land the job right now, because I don't think that all of this mess leaks out if Harbaugh wasn't nine tenths of the way there. Right. Because there are ways to have clandestine meetings like the Vikings and Harbaugh could have uh, had their fact finding missions uh, in secret. But the fact that it's out in the open and the fact that it does uh, affect recruiting potentially for the future of Michigan, I think that Harbaugh is probably yeah, it's going to happen. Plus, if Harbaugh, they already had their formal interview on Saturday. If Harbaugh makes a trip to TCO, I don't think that he leaves without a without a contract. Where, So I, I understand. I, I do love me some D'Amico Ryans. I do love me some Kevin O'Connell. I, I think that would make a lot of sense. If we're going to go down the young head coach, uh, you want to get that Mike tomlin S uh, guy. You want to get the offensive guru. You want to do that and then build around him for the long term. Harbaugh is swinging for the fences. Like, Harbaugh is the Wilfs up at bat, and they don't care if they're going to go Albert Pujols. They don't care if they're going to strike out uh, three times out of ten. They, if they just want to make contact, like, they just want to drill this thing out of the park. And I think that potentially you could see a Jim Harbaugh hired as head coach and Patrick Graham, who they love uh, as a potential head coach of the future, bringing him onto the staff as a head coach in waiting. So, I mean, Harbaugh is 58. But it does feel like Harbaugh does have some unfinished business. I think that he wants to get back into the league. He's not part of a rebuild. Like If Harbaugh comes to the Vikings, he sees that they could be a force right away out of the gate, a la his time with the Niners. Uh, so it, it is exciting. It's a very exciting time. I'm fine with any of these three men leading the team. And, uh, of course, recency bias is, is the thing. So D'Amico and Kevin O'Connell on Sunday. Their team's going at it. And it, it does seem silly that it's like, hey, if O'Connell's offense, McVay's offense, does well against D'Amico Ryan's defense, Rob Salah's defense, hey, he gets the job. Or if D'Amico Ryan's shuts down Kevin O'Connell's offense, Sean McVay's offense, like they did to uh, the uh, the Packers, the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers last week, uh, he gets the job. Just funny how that works sometimes. But, yeah, things are starting to get thick. T-H-I-C-C in terms of the Vikings head coaching race. Uh, who do you want? If you had to pick one of the three, who do you want? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. Until next time, Skull Production Value.